in this uh, video we'll be talking about compound or stratified epithelia compound or stratified epithelia now compound or stratified means there are multiple layers of cells multiple layers of cells in case of simple epithelium, there was only one layer, be it squamous, cuboidal or columnar. Here, there would be multiple layers. This epithelium is also classified into same three categories, that is on the basis of the shape of the cells. So, if the cells are flat, then we would call it squamous, but we will call it stratified squamous epithelium cells are going to be flat but they are in multiple layers and the lowermost layer only is going to rest on the basement membrane so if we make multiple layers suppose this is one layer another layer and there are many layers which are placed one over the other only <clears throat> the lowermost cells they are going to rest on the basement membrane. So, the cells which are in touch or which are just above the basement membrane are going to be the lowermost cells. So, diffusion will take place through these cells. Now, this stratified epithelium is further divided into two categories on the basis of whether keratin is deposited in these cells or not. So, we call it keratinized stratified squamous epithelium so i'm just writing keratinized and if keratin is not deposited then it would be called non keratinized keratin is deposited normally in the upper layers so if keratin gets deposited then the upper layers they become little hard and because of keratin the upper layers they also die so wherever there is friction or damage due to some kind of movement then this structure would help and if you need only multiple layers just for protection then even if keratin is not present it will provide the protection so let us find the locations where we would find this once we understand the locations it is going to be easier palm that is the upper part of our hand, sole and skin. These are the areas where we would find keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Epithelium is squamous, cells are flat but the upper layers would have keratin deposition. Now, when we see our palm or sole, we find that this particular skin is slightly thicker. Reason is, it is multiple layer and here there is too much of friction. We work with our hands, we walk. So, on our sole, on our palm, there is friction because of which there can be a chance of damage. So, to protect plus a substance should be such which can give extra protection. Non-keratinized. It would be multiple layer, but there would be no deposition of keratin. So, location where we would find these, this non-keratinized is cornea, cornea of our eye, inner side of lips, vagina, foreskin, foreskin that means the skin which is at the tip of penis, anal canal and some part of cervix, some part of cervix. These are the areas where we find multiple layered squamous epithelia that is stratified but there is no keratin deposition. So these two are stratified squamous epithelium and the further classification is only on the basis of whether there is keratin deposition or not. The second type of stratified epithelium would be cuboidal stratified epithelium. 
or cuboidal compound epithelium. Now what happens here is the lower cells are going to rest on the basement membrane. So this is the basement membrane and we would find the cuboidal cells resting here on this basement membrane. But as we go to the upper layers, some cells, they get little more flattened instead of cuboidal. So we may find some upper cells little flat as compared to the lower cells. So name of the epithelium is given on the basis of the lower most cells. Lower most cells are going to retain their shape. Upper cells may become flat as they are on the exposed sites. Cuboidal stratified epithelium is found in the lining of lining of ducts of glands like salivary gland. The ducts of salivary glands are lined with cuboidal, stratified cuboidal epithelium, memory glands, pancreatic duct or pancreas. These ducts, they have stratified cuboidal epithelium. So we can write it as stratified cuboidal epithelium. Let me put it here, stratified cuboidal. Now the third one, the cells are tall pillar like. So we will call it stratified columnar epithelium. Again, same thing. The lower cells are going to be column like. But as we move towards the upper surface, we would find that the shape of the cell varies a little bit. The lower cells are tall, pillar-like, columnar epithelium. And as we move up, we are still getting the taller cells. But now they have become less tall. Here we find little cuboidal and at the top maybe a little flat. So name has been given on the basis of the lower one which is resting on the basement membrane. This type of epithelium is found in areas where the friction is maximum. It is found in conjunctiva of our eye. It is found in anus part and it is found in pharynx. Pharynx is the area where we chew the food and swallow it. So masticating area where we are chewing it and when we are swallowing it in this pharynx region, when the food is rubbed over this membrane, then there is friction which is going to damage this membrane. So it has to be multiple layered. So in these areas, we find the epithelium is stratified and columnar. So we have seen that simple epithelium, that means single layer, is normally found where something is to be exchanged. And the stratified epithelium or compound epithelium is found wherever we need some kind of protection. So simple layer, single layer would help in exchange of substances and multiple layers would provide protection. So epithelial tissue does two functions. It helps in absorption or transport of substances across it as well as the protection. So normally which is on the outer surface would provide protection and the layer which is on the inner side like in alveoli or capillaries would help in transport or exchange of substances. So these two types that is simple and compound epithelium. Now in the, in the next part we will be talking about few glands.